So, hi, and welcome back to another episode of The Vote, guys. Um, last time we were going through some uh, dial plan stuff and we mentioned a, a little topic called applications. Um, and Matthias is with me today to talk through some more about the applications. Mm -hmm. So, tell us more about them. So, <laughs> what we did was we used no op mm -hmm. to print something. Yeah. We did a hang up yeah. to hang up yeah. <laughs> and we made a dial. Yeah. The most important application. We will talk about dial later on mm -hmm. again and revisit it because it's really huge and you yeah. can do so much stuff yeah and course. it'll be a recurring recurring it, theme yeah. i should imagine but um to get into asterisk and to get to feel the power of asterisk mm -hmm. we should just use some other applications okay that you can understand the concept of the applications a little better okay fair enough so we go back to our dial plan This is the dial plane for your phone, James. This mm -hmm. is the dial plan for my phone. Yeah. And maybe I want to make um, an IVR menu. Okay. Mm -hmm. If you call me, mm -hmm. then you can decide if you really want to call me mm -hmm. or if you want to hear some options or, some options or no. mm -hmm. happy announcements. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Or complete so we, a task or something we, like that. We need two applications. Um, we need an application to read a key press okay. mm -hmm. that you yeah. type something in. Um, and we need an application to play back a file. Okay. So let's start with uh, the easier application. Mm -hmm. That's playback a file. Um, it's called playback. <laughs> <laughs> um, you just put it in there. If you call me so... Um, this is that one, mm -hmm. and before we do the dial, we will just play with a file. Play back. And then we can just provide a file name. Okay. And then it will play back that file name. Right, okay. So, for beginners, um, it's hard to understand what should I provide there. Mm -hmm. Are there some default files, already files or something? Yeah. Where, where are they? Mm -hmm. uh, what's their name? Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> Useful information. <laughs> how you can find all that out. You can go, I think, to the asterisk.conf. I'm mm -hmm. not sure. Maybe it's wrong. Um, and then you can have a look at those directories, user, blah, 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 blah. Mm. I wanted to show you a way where you can find it out when you have another configuration than ours. Mm -hmm. But um, it's in the library directory. Okay. So it's not directly a pointer to uh, the files. You have to go to the varlib yeah. asterisk. Var lip asterisk. And here you have much things mm -hmm. and you have also sounds as subdirectory. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There are some um, other subdirectories for each language you installed. Okay. There's yeah. a subdirectory mm -hmm. because your channel can be in different languages. Of course, yeah. So yeah. you can switch the language for to German, mm -hmm. then it goes to the subdirectory DE, DE as mm -hmm. you defined. Yeah. Um, and in that case, it just goes to English because it's the default yeah. language. And here are quite a few. Yeah, <laughs> many of them. Um, and there are some test files. They are marked with TT in front. So okay. you can say, show me all files, TT minus. Then you can see the test files which Asterisk provides you. Yep. Mm -hmm. You can create your own file for playback uh -huh. um, if you want to. Mm -hmm. But for test cases, it's cool to just use, use something that's already there. Um, very funny, it's TT monkeys, we can use it. Okay, good. <laughs> um, but just you can just use them as they are. And this is how you can find out the name. Back to etc asterisk. And back to the extensions conf. So you can just type in the name. Without the path, 
Aha. Die, die Minus monkeys. Monkeys. And that's very important without the technology of the file. Okay. Without the ending of yeah. the file. Mm -hmm. You do not provide wave or GSM or yeah. something. Mm -hmm. You just put it in there like this. Okay. Cool. Um, it's very important to understand why is this. Um, because asterisk always chooses the right file for the situation. Uh -huh. uh, you can have more than one files with the same name in okay. different encodings. Uh -huh. And asterisk always chooses the file which is the less effort to convert it in the current codec the channel uses. Uh -huh. So it's very intelligent. So you don't have to provide um, That's useful. the ending. That's very useful. Mm -hmm. And um, it saves a lot of CPU yeah. because of the transcoding to, yeah. the, to the right channel. Cool. Um, there is also a matrix of um, which codec to which codec um, uses how much CPU, yeah. and then you can mm -hmm. choose the right format for you. If you are in Europe and you're using uh, um, Mulo or something yeah. as codec, yeah. then it's a very, um, very good idea to just create all your prompts in that codec, then okay. he has not to transcode Yeah, it saves, saves a bit of uh, power. But this is the, p uh, the two things you have to know. You don't have to provide the path mm -hmm. because of the multi-language feature. Yeah. It just goes to the right path mm -hmm. of the channel. If you don't want that, then you can provide a path. Mm -hmm. That's possible. I'm not sure if it's still possible in that version we're using, mm -hmm. but it was possible. Mm -hmm. Then it uses directly out of there. But then um, the multi-language feature is broken. Yeah. And don't provide the file ending because it chooses file automatically mm -hmm. the right file. Okay. So it's very intelligent at that point. We have to reload. And first I have to set the verbosity level to 3. Dial plan reload. Let's give it a try. So. Just call me. Use the loudspeaker. <laughs> <laughs> Now you can now you can hear the monkeys. Oh God! <laughs> yeah, you can you can see what happens here. You can mm -hmm. see he um, opens the application playback, and he just plays back the monkeys. <laughs> um, another thing is that's cool. That's cool, <laughs> and he sticks to the application again. He sticks to the application until the file. Um, is played completely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You please try it again, and we have to listen to that. It's hard, <laughs> but it's too many. it's not too uh, too long. I think it's ten seconds okay. long or something. Right. Uh, we just have to listen to it, that I can <laughs> show you <laughs> the concept. There are other prompts <laughs> we can use in future, so. That's what I wanted to, to show you. Mm -hmm. At the end of the file, the dial plan goes on. So next he does the dial. Now you can talk to me if you want to. No. I can't. You can't because I have to answer the call. <laughs> yeah, that's true. If you call me. <laughs> and um, that's it and then we can hang up again. Okay. And then you can see that it goes through um, all the lines. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it's a really um, important to understand the concept that it sticks to the application until the application is finished. That's cool. So that's enough for that tutorial, I mm -hmm. think. And next time we try to build a little IVR that you can choose the monkeys okay. or, or the weasels, which uh, are okay. also available. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, no. Right. So there you have it. That's what we're doing next time. We're choosing the monkeys or the weasels. <laughs> uh, right. Okay. Um, thanks very much for watching. Um, until next time, goodbye. Bye. Yeah.